Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Hungry Lamu, which is a horror game where you play a hungry llama who goes around looking for fruit to eat. Hello, Lamu. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. Hey, how you doing? I'm Llama. Mark. Isn't it a beautiful day, Lamu? Let's find some cherries to put in that stomach of yours. Are these cherries? They're, they're kind of blue. Arf. Hey, whatever works. There aren't any cherries beyond this point. There aren't any cherries beyond this point. Okay. I think there's not any cherries beyond that point. Something just, something just tells me there's not any more over there. Arf. Orf. Yum, weren't those cherries delicious? But Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Oh, what's that? Well, if it isn't a cute little banana. Hmm, you look like a certain character from a certain show. Lamu loves fruits. I'm sure this banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. Let's go beat this banana, Lamu. Perhaps from a certain hunger force. Hmm. Talk to banana. Hello, little banana. Bark. Don't you do that to me. Bork. Oh dear. Looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. We'll need to make the banana sleep. So Lamu can have a delicious meal. Um... Need something hard. The banana won't let Lamu pass. Will this rock do? Oh, no, this rock will do. Take rock. Okay. Objective, eat the banana. Hit banana. Oh. Um. Eat banana. What a hearty meal. I'm sure the banana didn't mind. I mean, the banana, right? Despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. Oh, what's that, Lamu? Fruit people. It's a bunch of fruit friends. You don't see a lot of them around here. They have tents. Their fruits should be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. Objective, eat three fruit friends. Maybe we can, like, talk this out. Hey, everybody. I'm Lamu. Where are you running? I'm, I'm a llama. Whoa. Looks like they want to play a game. Just like the other fruit friends we've met in the past. Past? How fun! Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new friends. So we can have some of their delicious fruits. Sure. Well, uh... We just take this rock with me. Actually, no, there's fire here. Ooh. Yeah, that's... that's now we're cooking up gas. Needs something stinging. Hmm. Gotta find bees? Light bush. So why don't we put this down? Need something hot. Hey there, buddy. You're gonna burn, all right. Hey. How you doing, pear? That's hot, 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 hot. Oh, jeez. Can you try something less burning? Like something that's not fire? Well, I hope you like burn pear. 
Cause it's all yours. That just sounds delicious. I'm gonna eat. Arf. Pretty good. Take my axe. No, there's nothing up there. Don't stray too far from home, Lamu. We'll get lost. It's supposed to be like a... Um, like a barrier wall? Or is that like a road? There's a car here! I just smashed it! I'm like a Street Fire character. So it is a road. Do, do the fruits have cars? Are the fruits like advanced in this world? Oh, we destroyed the car so they can't escape. Hey there, buddy. I'm gonna need to uh, chop down this tree so you know you can come down here and I can eat you. Hi. Okay, so let me just get this over with. Hey there, Orange. Uh -huh. Whoa, that was a high fall! Mm. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? That's great, because I'm gonna eat you. Uh -huh. Have mine! Maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree too! That'd be nice. Arf. And we need some bees. These bees ain't stinging me because I got a nice, like, coat. Oh, wait. Nah, you're over there. You're on the left. Hey there, buddy. Be like them bees. Oh. Ouch! The bees stung me everywhere! You're an apple, what do you care? You have no soul. Uh -huh. Looks like I've got to be careful next time. See, you're making puns already. Uh -huh. Have my apple. You deserve it. Our f <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Weren't your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? I, f I, I think so. What a great day. Playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. The banana probably belonged to them. They probably like, came into the park with their dog. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't Lamu? Oh? What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry? Did... Wait, what? What the hell? Sound like Tasha. I told him not to make so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. Oh no! It's the perspective change thing again! Find the campsite. Hold left shift to run! Oh my god. Is Lamu gonna come out of the damn woodwork? Oh, but Lamu smashed the car! I can't escape! Or, I smashed the car. The campsite isn't this way. Yeah, we just... Maybe I have to look at something in the campsite. Where did they all go? Where's Mochi? Mochi! Where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. So I'm just gonna kind of follow the trail. Oh no, it's the banana dog. Wait, no, never mind, it's just a rock. Which way would she run? Mochi. 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 Is that you, Mochi? Mochi. What the fuck? Who did this? Poor girl. Whichever you assholes did this, this is fracked up. Tasha, Ken, Leon, where the hell are you guys? Find your three friends. Anyone out there? Mm. I'm gonna be sick. Why are there so many damn bees? Who did this to you, Ken? I'd like the nice touch, though. The actual locations of their deaths have been accurate. So that means that we should be one to the south over here. Hey, hey. 
with a fallen tree. Oh god, I saw Lamu. Lamu was in the distance. Why is there a, why is there a killer llama? Yeah, here's the chop tree. No. No, 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 no. 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 Oh god, Tasha. She must have twisted her leg in the tree. What the hell did this to her? And then... Our last friend should be to the far, far east. Now I wonder... If we could not smash the car, and maybe there's like a different ending or something like that. You know what I mean? Okay, here's the fire. I just saw Lamu again. <coughs> Holy shit! I don't even recognize him. He's burned to a crisp. What the hell is going on? I have to get out of here. I dig it to the car. Find the car. Whoa, 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 is this some kind of Slender Man thing? No, no! No, Lamo! No! I see a light over there. Lamu Forest Park. The car is busted! Who the hell is doing this? Oh god! It's a Lamu! Ain't two out of two, full course meal. Yeah, so there is a separate ending if we don't break the car. Okay. Alright, let's get to the car. Oh god, Lamu's right there. Lamu, 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 Lamu. Okay, out of here. Whew! That ended up being Vord today! What the- I think one out of two, roadkill. Tragic Lamu Forest Park. You can kind of see Lamu in the background. What was supposed to be a peaceful camping trip of four friends were into a devastating bloodbath. Tasha, Ken, Leon, and Blank, manly badass hero, were camping in the Lamu Forest Park on the night of February 19th. The young adults just graduated and were looking to having a uh, getaway out in the wild to unwind and relax. That was when tragedy occurred. Tasha, Ken, and Leon were brutally murdered and decapitated in the middle of the night, leaving Blank to be the lone survivor of the devastating incident. The Lamu Forest Park has been infamous due to its collection of known murders of those who enter the park. Hmm. The forensics have included the bite marks present on the deceased bodies resemble that of human teeth. The mystery of the Lamu killer has been solved due to recent developments. Though authorities decided to withhold information on the details about said killer, they assure the public that it will no longer cause any harm to any citizens. Blake has refused to participate in any interviews, understandably due to their traumatizing experience. Our deepest condolences to the family of Tasha, Ken, and Leon. The public may rest easy knowing the Lamu killer has been apprehended. Kulu Times. Uh, so that's it for Hungry Lamu. I'm trying to determine, like, so was Lamu actually a giant killer, a llama? Or was it like a person? Like a superhuman mutated person or something? Uh, it looks like the government was trying to cover up something. Like, Lamu, like, they had some idea what Lamu was. I mean, the park is called Lamu Park. And it's like, you've got a killer thing called Lamu in there, in the park named after it. Like, is the government just, like, letting this happen? Like, yeah, some teenagers go up here occasionally, but like, it's, it's all for science. 
We need to learn the science. We have a grant from the government, you see, of what happens when you have a killer giant llama eat teenagers. So it's very important for the advancements of society, you see. So like that, is that what happened? I don't know. Anyway, it's not important. I mean, it's a, you know, kind of goofy story. Uh, but it was a it's pretty good little game jam game. I am reminded of another game I've played recently, obviously, of uh, Bonnie's Bakery with the perspective shift. I don't think either of these games have been the first one to do the perspective shift thing. But I did enjoy Lamu. Uh, it is definitely on the more schlocky end of things with the, you know, teenagers getting murdered and stuff like that. And it's ridiculous as a premise. But I think it's a good game jam game. Anyway, so thank you all for watching Play Hungry Lamu. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.